Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to do a truth table with four variables and explain my reasoning along the way. So let's get started. The goal is to provide a truth table for the sentence P or R and in parentheses Q or S. Okay, so it's just ends and ors. It's not too bad. So let's first look at our variables here. These are these columns. So first off, you should note that we have 16 columns. And the reason we have 16 columns, or sorry, rows, 16 rows is because we have one, two, three, four variables. Anytime you have any number of variables here, it's two to the power of the variables. Two to the fourth power is 16. That's why we have 16. Now the goal here is to write all the possible ways the situation can happen. So we can start here, doesn't really matter where we start, and go down the line and say eight are true, first eight, and then eight are false, the last eight. Okay, and if you're not used to this format, check out my other videos where I go in detail. And then we did eight in that one, so now we do four and four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and four falses. You'll see the pattern kind of take shape here. So eight trues, four trues, well, you might be able to guess, now we're alternating between true, true, and false, false. True, true, false, false. True, true, false, false. And that's it. Okay. Now, the last column is just alternating. True, false, true, false, true, false. It's a little bit tedious when you have this level, but it's good to have it digitally because it's easier to type than it is to write. Okay. These are the 16 different ways the situation can happen. Right, they're all true, they're all false, or some variation in the middle. Now, what I did here is I broke the sentence into a couple pieces. This P or R, Q or S, those are just the two pieces in this main conjunction. So P or R, that is this column. So let's just make that a color, and we'll show these two columns we're interested in. P or R. So remember that a disjunction, an or statement, is true if either one or both is true. Okay, so let's just look at the situations where it's false and maybe we'll just mark the others as true. So where would it be false? Where do we see two falses? Right here. These last four cases are the only times it's false. False, false. The rest of them are true. So we'll just take this guy and we'll copy it all the way to these. So remember, if one of them or both of them is true, the whole sentence is true. Okay. Now we'll look at Q and S in the same way. We'll make this a different color just to kind of keep the colors. Actually, let's do something else. Let's make it like a green. This looks good. That doesn't matter. Okay. Now Q or S, same idea, right? When are these both false? When they're both false right here, that's when it's false, boom. When are they both false? Here, nope, nope, right here, false. Where are they both false? Right here, false. And then last one, there's a pattern to this. You notice four, eight, 12, 16? Hmm, fun to think about. Okay, the rest of them are true. So we'll just throw true in here, throw true in here, in there, and in there. Okay, now our final sentence is a conjunction. A conjunction is an and statement, which means you need both to be true in order for the final sentence to be true. So let's throw a different color just one more time. Okay, so the only time it's true when both are true. So let's just go down the list here. True and true, true and true, True and true. True and false is false. So we'll just put false. We don't need to put final. True and true is true. True, true. True and false is false. True and true is true. True and true is true. All trues. And right here, true and false, that's false. And I just see right here that all of these are false, which means that all of these are going to be false. Okay. So what is all this saying? What is the point of doing this table? 
This is the final answer, we should say. And what this means is that this sentence is false in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of the 16 different ways to arrange it, which means that it's true nine out of the 16 times. And you can think about it mathematically and saying, hey, if it's seven out of 16, you can kind of, without even knowing the sentence, you can make a probability estimate. Not that that's really that important, but it's kind of interesting to think about. So if you have to evaluate and someone asked you, when exactly is this sentence false? You just tell them, oh, here's one case where it's false. It's false when P is true, R is true, Q is false, S is false, right? Not a bad example. It can get much more complicated than ORs and ANDs. So make sure you're aware of the same rules with conditionals, biconditionals, all those kinds of things. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. If you like the video, please be sure to mark it like on YouTube, and I'll be making more of these videos in the future. So any recommendations, feel free to comment them below and I'll make a video about it. My goal is just to help spread logic for my class and also just anybody else who wants to watch it. So thanks so much and have a great day.